Hello. Uh, in this video, I want to talk about the VK2 Division 2.0.0, which is the upcoming version, and uh, more importantly, about the new OpenVR mode that um, is uh, available and embedded in VK2 Division. So all you have to do is go in the VK2 Division Ini and just say on your game, say OpenVR. So what does what this mode includes is a curved screen which was tailored for um, the VR environment with uh, Luma Sharpen shader to uh, sharpen the image and give uh, better uh, well, details and results. We have the ability to control the uh, screen position, the size, the height, the distance and all that stuff. And uh, the other awesome new uh, feature or ability is to map your um, uh, VR controllers to an Xbox controller. So this is done uh, using Vigem uh, Bus and Vigem Client. Vigem Bus uh, simulates a controller and the client is, well, the one that talks with the controller, obviously. So all of this has been done in uh, C++. So there is no uh, other outside or third party engine used inside here. So the whole VR environment is done from code. And it offers the same performance or 14% uh, per, uh, percent, uh, performance loss compared to regular 2 division or side by side, but this uh, 14 percentage uh, percent comes from running or having Steam VR running while your game is running. So even without this mode, or yeah, you will still get well, 14, 15 percent less performance. So yeah, I'm going to uh, show it on. Um, uh, Detroit to become human the demo from Steam. So all you have to do is uh, put open VR and then I am going to uh, launch or start my index controllers So out of the box you have bindings for the index controllers and for the Vive ones I don't have an Oculus Touch or Rift and I don't have the Oculus Touch controllers, but like uh, any other Steam VR input, you just go to settings, uh, controllers, and input debugger. And then once you have your game running here, you can actually click on it. And then, uh, yeah, you have the. Uh, actually, let me just uh, start the game and I'm going to show you. So if I go on Steam library and I go to uh, Detroit, okay, and launch it, it will tell you that, yeah, this does not support VR, you just hit OK. So the other important thing is here in the settings, you see the splash screen, which means that PK2 division starts. Here in the settings, you need to disable uh, use desktop game theater when launching desktop games while SteamVR is active. So you don't want that. You always have, uh, have it on, on off. So now the game should start. I already see the cursor. And if I go back, yeah, if I go back, oh, come on. So the input debugger you can actually now see the game and you can see the VK2 division configuration for the index controllers and you can see the mappings, you can save your own, you can yeah, do whatever you want to do. Right? So <clears throat> now I'm going to stop this video and I'm actually going to start recording on OBS, so we'll take it from here. But OBS, oh, my helmet is right. Um, there we go. Yeah. Cool. So yeah, let's uh, start recording, then I'll stop the um, shadow play one.
Negotiator on site. Repeat. Negotiator on site. Gotta save my little girl. Wait. You're sending an android? All right, ma'am. You, you need to go. You can't do that. You. Why aren't you sending a real person? Captain Allen, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's firing at everything that moves. It already shot down two of my men. We could easily get it, but they're on the edge of the balcony. If it falls, she falls. Do you know its name? I haven't got a clue. Does it matter? I need information to determine the best approach. Has it experienced an emotional shock recently? Listen, saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now, or I'll take care of it. <laughs> <laughs> 